So I'm videotaping to see if there are any spirits in my house. And apparently there are. <laughs> Hello. Who just ran across my living room? Sorry, there's. Uh, I'm gonna do this throughout this whole thing. There's somebody behind you. You've said that multiple <laughs> times before. So if I do that, I'm sorry. You said the good things, though. Oh yeah, there's good. nothing evil down here at Fabulous. all. Fabulous. <laughs> there's somebody grumpy down here, but not evil. Grumpy. Does he want coffee? <laughs> <laughs> it's an older gentleman, and he's back over in there? the corner over there, and he's just kind of grumpy. Are right there now. lots of people just asking? Oh yeah. Here. I always have people. Oh around. okay. Just as a general, there's always. Yeah. That's very interesting. Yeah, are you the skeptic? No, I'm just. <laughs> just yes. <laughs> I'm You're trying like... to figure things out. <laughs> Chris says yes, he is. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. No, I don't know if skeptic's not the right word, I think, but I'm just very curious about practicality. Is it like sixth sense? Like Yes. <laughs> okay. In a way. Not in the sense yeah. that um, I walk around and I see people hanging. I'm truly curious. I don't know. Okay. There's several paranormal. I'm dipping my toes. <laughs> You're nervous. I Breathe. Yeah. <laughs> breathe, Sam. I'm an empath, so if you're not breathing, uh -huh. I'm not breathing. Okay. If you're like this, I'm like this. Well, I'm That's always like that. So <laughs> I'm drinking water. Step it's not even coffee. The coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Decaf. Yeah. Um, Decaf water. Can see who's coming in. Did you have a, a great grandmother that does this on you a lot? I think I used to. <laughs> yeah. She's doing that on you now. Really? She wants you to just do okay. Relax. That makes sense. <laughs> she wants you to sit up too. <laughs> oh man, they have control. Grandmothers have control from heaven. Um. She says that's better, thank you. <laughs> you are, I see you moving. Now, I don't know why they're giving me two different locations, so it might be a film location, but one is like Virginia. Okay, so lots of trees, lots of stuff like that. And one is Hollywood or right. LA. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you... The editor that we're talking to lives in Virginia. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's freak out. That explains the look that you just gave me. I was like, what, Sam? <laughs> Don't you love going oh, first? Yeah. The skeptic. They, you know. they nailed the skeptic. They were like, okay. Yeah. Do you want to know how I introduce myself? Yeah, or how you describe yourself and your gifts. Okay. I tell people that it depends on where I am. Um, I'll tell people that I'm an office manager for a financial company, which is a fabulous job. I love it. But I'm also um, a psychic medium and I do readings. And I work with um, police and I work with families on missing persons. And I get one of two reactions. I get the, oh. Nice meeting you. <laughs> and then I get the, oh God, what am I thinking? Come yeah. on, what color am I thinking of? Well, I don't read minds, but okay. Um, or I get, I often get the, is anybody around me? Can you read me? What's going on? And it's like, I'm just introducing myself. I'm not <laughs> turned in, tuned into everything right now. So it could be really fun or I get a, a lecture about demons and evil and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of, I have, we're talking to dead people here. It's hard. They have to bring their energy down and we have to bring our energy up. And then they talk in symbols and we have to interpret them. And I'm not, a, I'm not always right with the symbols and stuff. I, I have learned over the years to just, um, um, spit the symbols out. Let's figure it out because you guys know better. I've been conned. I'm a skeptic. I've been conned by mediums. I had sure. somebody told me that a long time ago that my daughter was not gonna live to past 24. I held my breath till I was 25. Or she was 25. And it's like, you don't do that to people. Yeah. 
you don't associate things like that to people if it's not true. Right. So I'm very, very careful when I tell people. If I'm not getting it 100% from spirit, and I'm not absolutely sure about it, I'm not going to tell you it's true. And that as long as I go into it with a good heart, not to hurt people, it's going to be okay. So if you get ego and you're only doing it for money, or you're only making stuff up, or you're doing it for the wrong reasons, you're going to hurt people. But if you're doing it for the right reasons, and your heart is in the right place, you're not going to hurt people. And I've said some pretty tough stuff to people. Stuff that I didn't want to say, but I was being told to say it. And it was harsh. And it actually healed them. It helped heal them. So they didn't want to hear it. They didn't like it. But it eventually helped heal them. So I have learned that it's not up to me. I'm just the messenger. And if I keep that attitude, I'm just the messenger, then the good stuff comes from up there. And then I don't have to worry about hurting people. Because it just... It, hurting people just... You might as well just... Because I, I don't like that. It's about what's in people's hearts and what's right for their lives and what's right for everybody around them. And that's what the spiritual side of me is about. And that's why it's so important to me and I'm so adamant about loving people in their hearts and for who they are and treating each other right because... Otherwise, we're just hurting each other. I don't care what side of the aisle you sit on politically. Give a rip. I don't care who you are, what walk of life you come from. It's about what's in your heart and how you treat the people next to you. That's that. That's what God cares about. Mm 